Hello, my name is Darva Satcher and I am an engineering manager at GitLab. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an employee development personal project. I will start off by reviewing how to create a personal project and also creating labels, milestones, issues, and issue boards to support that project. GitLab has documentation for all of its features. So there's a link here for project documentation. Feel free to click on this link to learn more about projects. I use employee development, personal projects to manage my team members' careers. So I use uh, SMART goals and tasks to meet those goals and all of that is encompassed in a project. We will start off with a movie. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is go to the very top and click on new project. You would then type in your project name. I tend to write my own name and then employee development project, but feel free to do how you would like to do it. And you might also notice that the visibility level can be either private or public. Public means Everyone can see it. Given that this is an employee development project, I always select private. Next, we'll review how to create a label. GitLab also has label documentation right here. So you want to go all the way over to the left under issues and you'll select the label option. There's a new label button that you just click on and then you get this form. So labels can be scoped or they can be regular standard labels. I'm gonna create three scoped labels. What that means is this particular label can only have one value at a time. So this is the competency label, but it's gonna have a value of leadership, technical, or diversity. Those are specific to GitLab. You can put in your issue description right there. And whenever you highlight or hover over that label, that issue description, I'm sorry, that label description will appear. And you select the color. And that's our first scope label for the leadership competency. And any issues that we might create in our employee development project that are associated with leadership, we would assign that label to. The next one is values. GitLab, we love our values credit, right? Uh, so again, you add the description, you select a color, you can choose the same color or you can choose a different color. It's totally up to you. But again, the competency label can only have one value, even though we're creating three labels. This is the final competency scope label value. This one is technical? No, values, technical, yeah. Now, the fourth label we're gonna create is not going to be a scope label. This is actually going to be our SMART goals label. So any issue with SMART goals on them would be the SMART goal issues. So we'll have two types. We'll have SMART goal issues and then we'll have just regular task related issues.
And whenever it's a smart goal issue, you'll see this mustard color label. And that's our four labels. And as you can see, they're all on this page and you can edit them, you can subscribe to them, uh, and a few other features. Next, we'll talk about milestones. Uh, milestones are used to track issues related to a sprint. So those two words are somewhat interchangeable for the purposes of this conversation. We have milestone documentation right here. So you can feel free to click on that link. And next, we'll watch a video on milestones. So you go all the way to the left again under issues and select milestones. And you go to the upper right hand corner and select new milestone. Every milestone will have a title, a start and end date, and a description. For the purposes of this demonstration, the milestones are going to be one week. If you have a, a sprint or a milestone that's three weeks, you would just change the start and due dates. So as you can see, we create a, a milestone that's actually past due, which is fine. We did that on purpose. Uh, we'll create one more that is actually current for this week. And there you go. And we have this nice chart as well that will show us uh, information about our issues. Now you can also close a milestone at the end of your release or your sprint. You can delete a milestone as well, but we're gonna reopen this one back up. Next, we will get into the heart of things, issues. So I will show you how we can use issues to track our SMART goals, and we'll also use issues to create iterative tasks required to achieve the SMART goals. For more information about issues, click on the documentation link here. So again, back to the left. Uh, we'll click list. This lists all your issues. Well, we have none. So let's create a new issue. All issues have titles, uh, descriptions, and additional columns of information. For the SMART goals, we want our titles to have SMART goals prefix all of our titles so that they're very obvious and they stand out. Next, you see the description. Uh, this description is written, uh, it accepts Markdown, so you can use Markdown uh, language here, and you can use the preview button to preview your Markdown. You can assign it to yourself, and you can assign it to a milestone. If you don't see your milestone, you can create a new milestone right from the issue. Next, you click Create Milestone, go back on your milestone page, and we're gonna hop right back over to the issue. All right, so we'll have to refresh the page in order to see our new milestone that we just created. And it's there, yay. All right, now we can select from those labels that we just created in the previous screen. And
we want to enter a weight and that represents how much work we think is required. And then we will enter in our due date. And that is our issue. You can also edit issues by clicking the little pencil icon. You can go in there and make whatever changes you want to make. And if you don't want to make changes, click cancel. And heading back over to the right side, you can see what we've already assigned to the issue. You can make changes here as well. You can also see that our labels are right there, uh, our weight, and then the health status. We did not populate that. So we're gonna go ahead and set that to be on track. And we're done. The issue board. The issue boards are used to track your SMART goals or your tasks related to your employee development. We have issue board documentation located on the GitLab website. Just click that link right there to get to it. So now we will go and create an issue board. The first thing we have to do is clean up our labels a bit. Okay, so we're gonna create a brand new board. This board is gonna be used to track our SMART goals. So we're going to filter this board by anything labeled with SMART goals so we don't pull in those other task issues. And then we're gonna select the list that we want, which are SMART goals at the various scoped labels. And as you can see, we have the one in there that we just created and it's showing up under not started. You can also move the list around in case they get out of order. And then you can go to the list page and see all of our issues. We're gonna create one more issue so that we can see that issue display on another board. You can see that similar issues popped up. That's a nice GitLab feature that we have. It helps avoid creating duplicate issues, but that was an issue that I closed earlier so that it's fine. And we'll assign it to myself and populate the remaining information. All right, so we've created an issue that's not a smart goal. This is an issue that supports a smart goal. So this is a board that's going to show the current work that the team member is working on. And that had a scope status, so it will show what's new, in progress, and what's been completed. And something that I forgot to mention is when you create an issue, you can relate it to another issue on the issue form. So you will want to relate this to the SMART goal that it supports. All right, and see right there where it says linked issues, you can tie it to the other issue.
And right now I'm just cleaning up some labels so that the SMART goals do not show up on the current work issue board. That way I can just see what my current work is in the various stages. And then I can create another board called upcoming work. And then I can change the scope of that by changing the milestone. And this gives me everything that is ongoing now and coming up. So the issue boards are a very powerful tool to view and make your progress more visible. You can also edit the boards by clicking edit on the right side. But I had no changes. All right, and I would say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any one of us at GitLab. Uh, those project documentation, the issue documentation, all the documentation is very valid. So definitely take care and enjoy your time creating those employee development projects.